Uh, welcome. Put your nose down, though. Put your nose down. We ain't even, I didn't, I didn't, we ain't even I, got I, into I, I it. I leaned up baby, in the remember, camera. You got to remember what the topic is, baby. You got to remember what the topic is. Okay. okay. All right, all right. Okay. All right. Uh, welcome I'm to... Just, I got some Babe, babe let me do the intro. Right. Oh, let's get to the intro. Bro. All right, let's go. Welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. I am Tabitha Brown. And this is my husband. I'm Chance. What's up? <laughs> Bring the beat in. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. But on pump pump. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. All right, let's get to it. Chance got a, he a little, uh, he got a little uh, in him today, a little uh, DMX. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, everybody calm down. Sit back a little bit, baby. You, 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 you. Sit back. It's okay. Let me see his shirt. I just want to Today's talk. topic is, we, our T-shirt says it. This is uh, part of my new merch. Normalize positivity. Now, uh, I created these shirts a while back anyway. They've been if you don't like my wife, but, don't watch. <laughs> wait a minute. Hey. Period. Babe, if babe, you got hey, a wait, hey. No, no, that ain't how we doing it. Uh oh. That ain't <laughs> that ain't how we come to it. That's not how we <laughs> this is. That's not how we do it. That's it, okay? So. <laughs> okay. You got so, <laughs> All right. Mm. So. Click on something Appar else. Apparently. If you don't like hey, my wife. Hey, babe, babe. Why? Let us get to the topic. We're going to, the topic is normalize. Positivity. Are you being positive right now? I got some positivity for him. <laughs> so this is how you handle the positivity. No, babe, that ain't it. Uh, that ain't it. Well, go ahead then. So let was, me know when I when I get to have my part. There was a post, and normally you know I don't care, but I thought, oh, this is a great way to influence people to normalize positivity. So um, I guess it was actually a couple months ago. Somebody had posted. Uh, that I had toxic positivity. And I was like, toxic positivity? Are we so bad in, in the world of where being positive is now toxic? That's a bad thing? Because the tab done been through the, the, the storm, the darkness, the fire. I done been through a whole lot to get to this joy, right? And so I'm so intentional with my joy. So and shut so up. Bay. That ain't it. You you not being that ain't you ain't teaching the kids well. You ain't teaching the people right. That ain't it. Hmm. Okay. We gotta normalize positivity. Well, I'ma wait because I, you I wait. got something. You wait. Don't two negatives make a positive. <laughs> so, then babe. we learn something in science about because <laughs> I got some smoke for them. <laughs> but, but listen. So anywho, <clears throat> it first of all it hurt my feelings, not on a personal, it hurt my feelings because I thought man, how bad must this person be feeling? Like, if they think positivity is toxic. Like, it made me feel, my heart felt heavy for them. And for the many people who agreed, I was like, dang. I mean, I know I've said this before, but the pain they must be in, right? Uh, and so I was like, I want to get to a place where we all can normalize positivity. There's nothing wrong with being positive. It doesn't mean you don't have a bad day. It doesn't mean you don't have things happen, you know? Uh, but if you look at all the negative things that have happened in my life and bad and hurtful and, and scary things I've been through, you will see why I choose positivity, why I'm intentional with trying to spread love and joy. Cause I don't want to go back to the darkness. It ain't no fun there. Right? So, um, I decided, normalizing positivity would be my mission. Uh, I created this t-shirt. My hope is that like, if you get one that you wear it proudly, that you help normalize positivity. Uh, and then I thought, you know what? Today we'll talk about it. I didn't know somebody was going to be, he, he, I never, now listen, this post was months ago. I don't really give <clears throat> post 
or, or people's opinions, like really a second thought like that. Uh, but I had created this T-shirt out of that because I wanted to help, right, with people's mentality. I never told Chance until today. I was like, as and I actually didn't tell him, I was telling our, our producers like, oh, this is why I want to do this topic, Normalized Positivity, because this video, you know, and on Twitter they were saying I, was, I had toxic positivity. So I wanted to do this topic to say, why are we there? I, and now this one got a little bit hot, as you can see. So, why friend. do you think... <clears throat> oh, go ahead, go ahead, man. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Go ahead. Why do I think... Why, we... why do you think the world is at a place where they think that being positive is toxic? Well, first of all, before we go there, babe, what, what, what you want to say? Now, you know me. It, it took... I, I have... Well, you, you say... As a person, how have I always been, generally speaking, even before this freedom walk that I'm on, but how have I always been? You've always been a positive light. <laughs> You've always been a person who's uh, optimistic, always, even in the darkest moments, try to wear a smile, even, even to the point where I can understand a person who can be bothered by <clears throat> positivity, right? But in this new world, I can understand a person who, who is married to that person, who is a mother, uh, or that, that person is their mother, or that person is their sister. They're tied to them differently, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but in this new world, if you're following that person and you have a problem with that person, that, is that, that person ain't the problem. Click the blue button. Uh -oh. Don't follow them no more. But don't get mad at the person because they not in the emotional state that you are. No. I have people that I follow, right? And I have people that I like, but I don't follow. Mm -hmm. I have people who I will watch on a daily basis that I can tolerate, right? But I want to see them on a daily basis. There's a difference. You need to know the difference. There's people that I love who have, uh, that, that are like close family members that have something on social media that I will follow to benefit them, but I won't watch their stuff. You got to know who you are and where your tolerance level are. But, if, and, but why I do that <clears throat> is because I don't want it to change my taste for the person. Your taste can change for the person because you're seeing too much of them. Right. I realize that about myself. It doesn't mean that I it doesn't mean that I, I I want to be able to to take you in at a level of where my tolerance for you does not change. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to go out of my way to go and try and get people to feel how I feel. It doesn't change what what you're trying to do. It's not like I'm saying, hey, this is fake or this person is bad for you because my tolerance for you is different. I look at it like, <clears throat> there's so many things I can, I can look at. I was going to say alcohol, but uh, you're going to be able to do too many things with that. <laughs> because your tolerance is different mm -hmm. does not mean that it's bad. The thing is bad. So I'm not going to go out of my way and try to tag people into bringing them in on how my level of tolerance. I'm not going to try to persuade you. I'm not going to do any of that. That's why it bothered me. Right? It bothers me that we have people out here that, that they're closed minded. And you got a person like yourself who is positive. And that's the only thing you're doing. You ain't trying to offend anybody. You ain't trying to force, you ain't trying to force it on people. It's there if you want it. Nobody is saying here, drink from the cup. They're saying, Hey, it's here if you want it. If you want some positivity, it's here. You have a choice in the matter. You don't, it's not like I'm saying, hey, no, wherever you look, hey, no, this is what you have to do this. Mm. This is a choice. So choose if you don't want to see it. <laughs> choose. Yeah. I get real offended when it comes to that. I, I get I, real I offended to it because <laughs> I think people, are, I think we, we are losing sight of that. Mm-hmm. Your voice, you can use your voice. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that everybody has to love my wife, though you should. 
Um, if you watching her and following her, otherwise move on. But, but I think we're getting to the point where people are starting to think that their voice needs to be heard all the time. <clears throat> and you wrong. Shut up, move on. And that's the most positive way that I can say that. I said that's that's I, that's, that's that's the way I, I say that. Now, well, I, <clears throat> what? Right, but I I think I, I agree. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. What you're saying. Um, my intention is to be positive and to spread joy and love because the world does have so many negative aspects, right, and toxic aspects. I want to be a source where people know if they having a bad day, oh, I know I can go to Tab's platform. I know I can go there for some positivity, right? That's what I have worked hard to do is to create a space where people can come and let go of all their negative stuff. So even the very person who created the, the post saying that I was toxic positivity because I'm too positive, she should come to my page because apparently she needs that a little bit of positivity because that means a lot of negative things are probably happening in her life. Um, so I feel like that with, I mean, so many things. I There's different people that I go to. I go watch Keith Lee when I be like, oh, I want to see just people be blessed. Like, because I love doing that too, but it also, I love to also see people win. Um, or sometimes I watch like little dog videos <laughs> and like, you know, fun things, but to make myself feel like even better or when I'm having a rough day. So I think to your point is you have a choice where you decide you go to find relief from your world right now. Like whatever may be causing you to feel negative or causing you to feel sad. I want to be that place that makes you not think about all the bad things that are happening uh, and make you feel better. Like, that's my thing. But also, sometimes when I'm having a tough time, I'll post about that. Or when something is heavy on my heart, I'll post about that. But I also think that that's a positive thing to do, you know, to share that life every day ain't perfect, you know. But I do feel, and I, this might be why people think it's size toxic positivity. I can't even say that good. Um, but I do feel that every day I wake up, I feel so positive about that. I feel like that's such a gift. Like that gives me joy. I'm like, oh, I get another go with this. Uh, as my cousin Phil said, I made the wake up list. So I always got something to be happy about, you know, that being here. So that, that, that was, you agreed with me that you that you need to protect your space, right? <clears throat> protect the space. Can we agree that your energy is worthy of being protected? Absolutely. Yeah, all about energy. Absolutely. Your energy is worthy yeah. of being protected. I, I agree with you, babe. You know, just, you know. Yeah, you, yeah I, I know. You always want to save the world. No, I'm just you saying. Always, no, you said it. You, 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 I get it. I'm just but that's what that's book. what that's what I love about you, right? That's what that's why it's such a sensitive subject. I really don't be caring what people say out right. here in this. And I and I also know my limitations. Yeah. How much to indulge into this new world that we're living in. Which is why I didn't because, even tell you about it. <laughs> yeah. You could have told me. Because this is Tab and Chance's show. This ain't. <laughs> you feel me? So this. <laughs> I like to be positive, but yeah. I, I want to be able to protect my energy from those that are not worthy of it exactly. and protect my wife where we share space. This is mm -hmm. our space. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted I, I, I like that you told me and I like that we agree. But just like in our marriage on how we deal with it can be different. Mm hmm. Right. We can it can just be different. Mine is. Hey, listen. You said I think you should be there. Him or her, whoever it is, based on what you said. I say move on. Mm. If this is not to your liking, 
move well, on. Well, yeah, I right? I'm not saying that uh, anybody should come to my page, right? I'm not I, saying I understand that. Understand what you yeah. said? <clears throat> yeah, I know. but I want to make it clear to whoever's watching. Like, I'm not saying, like, when I say they should come, I'm saying whether it's my page or somewhere else, find a place that makes you feel happy, that takes you away from whatever negative is happening in your life. Um, just exactly. to, even if it's for a couple minutes. That, that's, that's what. It. So we in agreement. Yeah. If this ain't it. Find somebody who speaks your language. Get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> get somebody else to do it. I get like, it, baby. I mean, yeah. Just get somebody else to do it. If you want to find somebody who can who can balance out your negativity and or be on the same page as you, and be relatable in that way, if they're saying that, then get somebody else to do it. Yeah. But what well, I mean, I think that even I had never even heard of the term toxic positivity. Um, Me either until you said it today. Right. <clears throat> uh, but as Sif was saying, it was like something that they were, I guess on TL Lasso, that they would, uh, would, were kind of having like a movement about that. But I think it also kind of goes hand, hand in hand with cancel culture. Right? Like, to me, the whole term of cancel culture is like a negative thing. It's like people want to hurt people and so they want to cancel them um no matter what right like there's like a I, I don't understand that you know i think that that's also toxic right for to say uh, oh, we're gonna cancel somebody people can make mistakes or do things and you can choose not to support them but to create a whole culture about canceling that, somebody that being your agenda that being your agenda to try to end somebody's mm -hmm. life or career or, or push them into a negative headspace or push them into d depression or anxiety or make them feel terrible um i think that's that's toxic honey i think i just don't feel like that's what god intended for us to be as people to each other everybody gonna make a mistake you know and we are all worthy of forgiveness um, in our mistakes that we make publicly or behind closed doors. But I don't think that we, as in we as in people, should have the power to be like, we canceling you. Like, you, you don't deserve to be in existence anymore. I think that is toxic. And I think it gives a lot of people anxiety. Um, and it's... It's such a negative thing, you know, and then because the, the same thing is like you might cancel somebody today. And they may do something great tomorrow. And then what? You know what I'm saying? The same person that you cancel might be the person who saved your life. And then what? You know what I'm saying? So I just think that that's such a negative outlook on life and humanity. Um, I just feel like we can do better than that as a people. What'd you think about it, baby? Honey, pull your nose down, honey. You are giving me James Evans right now, okay? And these should be good times. <laughs> Chance in here like, hey. <clears throat> ready, you ready to knock if you buck, why knock if you buck, ah. What, what's, what, it's always, all right. You know what irritates me is stuff like, Things where we have a choice, mm -hmm. or things where accountability, um, things that I feel like we should know, mm. things that we I feel like you nobody should have to remind you. That's why I get irritated. Things that we instill. Elaborate on that. What you mean? Well, the things that you're talking about is pretty much is. Treat others like you want to be treated. Be kind. Mm -hmm. Be considerate. Things like things that I teach kids. Yeah. And as adults, you lose sight of because I'm an electronic device. Mm. <clears throat> I get irritated with it. I get irritated with it with it real quick. And even quicker when it when it pertains to my family and you. There are days where in a marriage, <clears throat> I know with me. I can be in a rut and I don't want to hear no positivity, even if it's right. 
even if it's right, something going wrong in my day and I'm in a bad mood and tab come in with a resolve or she come in with some positive words. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I don't want to hear that today. Right. I, so I'm not saying I'm not understanding of where sometimes you just don't want to hear. No, but, Same. but what I'm talking about is I'm married to you. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah. You are quest mother choices, mother. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I still. I'm married to you. I have a choice, but I don't have a choice. Right. Mm -hmm. To be around you. We're talking about people who got a choice. not right? to. And, that, and it ain't even just you. I'm just saying in general where we have choices in life, we are now trying to change things. Well, you're trying to just be like, nah, I don't like that, even though I have a choice not to watch it. But I'm going to get it canceled. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tag people along. I want to destroy it. I'm going to, I'm trying to build, but you can just push the remote and watch something else. Yeah. But you can, you can scroll your thumb now. There's so much options, choices, content. things, so much for everybody. Right? So you just, if it's not, and I can see, I can even understand it if it's, All the other things I'll keep my mouth shut about because it's controversial, right? We're talking about positivity now being on the table as being something we don't want. You don't want no sun. You'd rather have rain. You, you, now we're going to say, I'd rather have a rainy day than the sun to shine bright because it's too hot. I'd rather for it to rain. So th that's how I look at it. And I'm like, we really talking about this? We yeah. talking about a person or something. Let's just, let's just take it away from you. Because I'm, it, it bothers me as it pertains to you. It's hitting home now, right? Mm -hmm. But it has bothered me already with other things, just in general. Where I'm like, we as a people are now doing this? These are some of the things that we are trying to cancel, trying to frown upon. We're getting a little too far to the left because of what? Right. Like, well, I think it's internal, right? I think that a lot of times when people, people who are there, who prefer rain over the sun, there's something inside that needs to be worked on. You know, I don't fault people. I I feel bad for them. You know, I feel like, dang, something in there is hurting them so deeply that they need somebody, you know, misery loves company, which is why they post and want to create a group or a culture that will go along with them so they can feel better. Misery loves company. And so I think that I'm trying to do the same thing, but with positivity and healing and love and joy. But it, the unfortunate truth is we can't have one without the other. You know, you can't have a positive without a negative. And some people just find their comfort zone in being negative or being, you know, toxic. And a lot of people, I think they get a rise out of, if I can say the worst comment, if I can get, get somebody's attention, this will fulfill me. This will make me feel better. Um, but that temporary feeling is very short lived. Then you go right back into the negative spirit that you're in, that dark place that you're in. So my, my thought is like, what's the work that needs to be done? What's the help that you need to get to a place of where you don't prefer rain over sunshine, where you don't prefer darkness over light? Where is that? place for you or what work is it that needs to be done and people like that that's I, that is my concern for people for humanity but also I feel like that's also part of my purpose which is why even though that somebody sent me the video I was like oh I'm only going to just keep going harder and doing what God has told me to do I'm only going to keep sharing love and happiness and joy and positivity and I'm gonna make a t-shirt and I'm you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm gonna keep going I'm not gonna allow it to get me in a negative place you know I'm not gonna allow it to be toxic towards me me either. that's what I said too
That's what you said. That's exactly what I said. And then you said, beep, 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 beep. Hey, look. Look, I just say, hey, listen. It, 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 it is bothersome. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. hey, look. I can tell you this much. I'm not going to be the person. There's always, I don't know the Bible, so I don't know if this is in the Bible. But there's always, you know, I heard my boy Kev talking about this as it pertains to his grandma. Mm -hmm. And me and you have joked about being in the line. Being in the line at the gates of heaven. <clears throat> I'm not going to wait on you. <laughs> I'm not going to try to convince you while we in the line that something that you're doing in the line yeah. could prevent you from getting in the gate. I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to convince you. <laughs> oh, you might not want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you keep doing that and it starts to now trickle off on me and it, somebody can confuse your negativity, your darkness, and associate me with it. Yeah. I'm going to move, remove myself from you. Yeah. Yeah. So when that gate open, I'm getting on the other side. Right. Period. I'm going to protect my energy and my position in line. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Well, you, you, I, I had to make a choice right there, right? Yeah. I could have stayed there and I could have said, I'm going to stay right here with all this. With all this yeah. darkness mm -hmm. and negativity. I could even make a choice that I'm going to stay right here and save you and try to figure it out so you can get in and then, and maybe you can go with me. I'm not that person. I'm yeah. the person that's like, hey man, you might not want to do that. I seen somebody else up at the top of the line when they got up there, the, the gate opened, but I seen my man at the podium hit a button and they fell down. <laughs> that's oh, what... you going to keep doing that? Hey, I'm going to tap the person ahead of me. Hey, you mind if I, can you put a little space in between? <laughs> I'm going to start creating that space. Because yeah. when they hit that button, I don't want my feet to be nowhere near yours. <laughs> I'm not going with you. I'm getting in the line. <clears throat> I'm getting in. That's how I, that's all I'm saying. So that's, uh, you can make a choice. Intentions have to be good. Yeah, your intention. Listen, I, I love people. I love, I, I, I love people. I wish the best for all of us. When I'm on my knees at night and I'm praying, I'm praying for humanity. I'm praying for us in an entirety. I'm not praying, I'm not, I'm not selfish in my prayers. I'm intentional in my prayers. I consider what, what we were put here to do. However, I understand that as human, we are flawed. Absolutely. And there's only so much time and effort that I'm gonna put towards helping somebody else when they have choice. Right. They have, you know, I'm just saying, hey, look, hey, listen, you, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> I got it. So basically what you're saying is. I want the green button, not the red button. <laughs> the go. <laughs> I'm, so, you know, I'm going in. <laughs> Everybody else got fear for themselves. <laughs> I'm getting in. <laughs> so you basically saying what I always say is, well, what are your intentions and are your intentions good? If you are intentionally trying to do good, intentionally trying to be good to others, um, intentional with your love, intentional with being positive, or if you are being intentional with being bad to others, being negative, are you intentionally trying to hurt someone? Ask yourself why, why, why are my intentions what they are? Um, and that ain't my business, that's yours. But I hope everybody can have a good intention. That's it, a good intention. And we can normalize good intentions or we can normalize positivity. It can be normalized. I believe in all of us. And I believe that we can all be in this world together and make a difference with each other. So I'm gonna keep normalizing positivity. And as they used to say in the church, <clears throat> The devil is mad and I'm glad about it. <laughs> <laughs> he mad and I'm glad. And I ain't gonna stop me. I'm gonna keep on, keep on running. I 
They got to go on and see what the end going to be. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's it. Anything else you want to say, babe? You feel you all right? I'm good. I was good in the beginning. I'm good. You was good in the beginning? Yeah, I'm good. In the beginning of this video? You want me to keep talking? All right. Do you want, all right, I'll keep, you want me to, no. you want me to talk about Biggie? No. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> the only thing you used to do is give me one more chance, chance. Biggie. Give him one more chance, man, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. Give him one more chance. I told you about my line. They get, boy. <clears throat> okay. All right, well, that's it. Listen, y'all, we love y'all. I love y'all. You love them, babe? Oh, I love them. Yeah, I absolutely love them. That's right. I I said that already. That's right. Um, Just set your intentions, whatever those may be, but ask yourself, are they serving you and are they serving others in the best way possible? Uh, And that's it. I love you. And until the next time, go about your business. (laughs) Have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody Friday. else's hand. Very good. You see how that Friday, ended just summed up this whole mm-hmm. topic? But don't mm-hmm. You have a good day. Friday, but if you can't have a good one, Friday, don't go messing up nobody else. Friday, I did this. Brilliant. <laughs> Anywho, all right. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. And don't forget to click here for more episodes. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Very good.